Hi, I'm Rick Crane of Angular's Artistry, and welcome to volume 22. This is painting the channel cat. And what we now we're going to use the gold pearl, and we're going to apply this color toward the back. The gold pearl's a little bit darker, so it's a little easier to see this color go on. But we're going to add a little bit of the gold tone, kind of mix it in around through the silver area a little bit. And again, what we're doing is we're, we're kind of creating that real soft, velvety undertone that you'll see, almost a translucent type of look that you'll see sometimes with catfish. I work in regions. I'll only come back so far, and then I'm going to introduce a couple more colors into that same area that we're working before we step on and, and move further into the fish. But learn to work in regions. It's, it's a lot easier way to manage what you're doing when it comes to paintwork. Now I'm going to concentrate a little bit more here. I'm going to get a little closer, a little tighter, and I'm going to really accentuate those soft webs. This is going to be the base of how we start to darken up that, that webbing. This definitely is something you want to practice on a white paper plate. you got to get your airbrush fairly close and you have to feel confident. You have to feel pretty pretty secure about what you're doing. So, And you, you want to be disciplined. You know, the, the big trick, if there is one, to, to doing spots is to spray the spot, let go of the trigger, move on. Don't, don't make it one move because you'll get little tails on your spot. You'll get little edges to them. Now we're just moving on to a different spot here and, and we're going to repeat the same type of process. We're just going to keep working some spots. Uh, you want to make sure that you put some white over there because just in case there's the outside chance that it yellows a little bit, that's going to protect that from happening. Once we're done with the fins, we'll move over to the whiskers here. And we're just going to blend in around that base and, and bring them up on the lower whiskers a little bit. Let's move right on to heating up the surface of the fish, and we'll call this one finished once we put our gloss coat on there. I'm Rick Crane on behalf of Angler's Artistry. I wish you my very best.